Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create data manually in Stata. So let's begin. This is the main Stata interface. This is the command bar. We need to write our command in this bar and activate them. So let me activate my data editor and do file as well. So in order to activate data editor, the shortcut key is Control 8. So now our data editor is active. So let us come to this Stata main Stata interface and then again press Control Mine to file. And let me also arrange this properly so that it fits in our screen. Okay, this much is okay for our do file. So let me write command clear control d it clears everything though the data editor is already empty now let me repeat this once again i don't want to save this no there's nothing to save so what is this? the salt code key to activate do file is control mine yes that's the key and now do file is active so in order to you know if you press control it with your do file active nothing is nothing happens you see i am pressing it and nothing happens so you need to activate your main state interface and press control 8 for activating do file okay this is a shortcut key we must use of this okay now the first method is using input and in loop so first of all let us do it in our command bar of the main state interface you write input followed by the name of the variables a b c d these are four variables the space it separates the variables right then after you see the changes in data editor then after whatever numbers you like so the first observation for the first variable is 12 and a space it 23 a space two of two variables we have already filled and whatever numbers right so the space each it separates the uh, observation for the variable right so let's press enter and you don't see any change in the data editors and press so many numbers whatever you like so this is for this like a 233 and 196 and so on okay now see what happens when you press in we're going to end this loop so that we have filled this data all right actually we have run the line by like line command for this using our command bar now let us do the repeat the same thing using a do file what's the difference First of all, let's clear everything. I've cleared it. And let me write again input A, B, C, D, and the number of object and the observations, right? So we are taking all the numericals. Values, not a string variable values, right? So no, 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 this is a mistake, this is a mistake. So we have three observations for each variable and one last. Okay, and then the numbers. Let's copy this, control C, control V. This is for practice and in the real world you'll do it. And now we'll see what happens. If you execute this line by line, you, you, you'll encounter an error. So if you want to use input and in command in the do files then you need to select all the input and actually you need to select the input and in the loop and then you can execute it so i have selected the input and in in the loop i have selected all in fact and you see this okay that's it now let's rename these variables so renaming this is very simple rename the a and what is the name for a in income and again you know rename b is expenditure rename c is for inflation the data may not 
be a reasonable or valid for this name variables but it's still for the sake of practice we're done this and the age is and and you see what what is the change in the name of the variables here it is a b c d or just in the top row you see it's all like that. so this is the change we have the input so the that's it for the first method. Now let's quickly try our second method using gen command. Right? And for that, let's clear everything. Our data editor is clear. Now, how does this generator work? First of all, you need to prepare the data container ready and then you need to plug in the values, right? So let us say I am going to work with only 40 observations for the convenience and for the visibility. Due to the limitation of this screen, I cannot include 1000 data all at a time, right? So, in order to notice the changes as it happens, so I'm taking only 40 observations, and you see what happens. I have selected this, control D, everything is clear, control D. So, the data container for 40 observations is ready. Now we go on filling. Let's generate a variable if it equals to 300 in F. F means first. So 30 is generated A equals to 300 in first. Or first. Alright. Let's control D what happens. 300 in the first. Now see we have generated a variable and we have input the first observation by the value of 300. Now there's no point generating this variable again we need to replace this with missing numbers by our desired observation right value so this is very intuitive replace b let's say by another two um, not another it's a 200 in let's say second to 15 observations and we need that okay so let's select this control d Replace, we don't have a variable named B, so this is our ear. Ears do happen, but we need to minimize this and I replace A is equals to you see the change. So let's say now only five in sixteen to let's say in sixteen to to twenty. Just we're practicing, right? And what happens? If I write replace a equals to 30 in last, L, L is last, is F is first, L, L for last, right? And you just control D, see our last observation and in between, that's empty. And uh, replace A equals to 700, okay? Um, then after you write if A is equals to dot. Let's see what happened. How do you feel in between? Control D. And we need to rename. Rename A is again income for our convenience. You see, this is income. And again, let's see generate A. And if you write B equals to 300, what happens? Or 900. What happens? All the observations will be filled by this value. This is how we restrict. Okay, without there's no restriction, right? B equals to 900. The whole numbers the containers that we've created all the 40 containers that will be filled by 900 thank you very much that's it, it for this topic generate and the third way of doing this let me clear it out okay so home d control x and let me bring it here okay to spin up the process okay so the third way is using a data editor itself okay how do we do this control d everything is clear so the data editor the first row and first column is active now this is the place for first variable you just write the first observation of the first variable let's see if the data is 300 again okay 200 now we'll see this changes the variable one you can rename the variable one with the desired variable name it's income let's fill the other variable let's say if it was expenditure 500 for 50 um you see this is 
variable to its expenditure and let's say this is again 100 and we'll rename it this is 100 graphically was for inflation just the data does not support the variable name right so let's say it's 200 and we want to call it is again impractical this is not for the sake of not and then you can just go on typing the number of the observations and the respective field 23 12 10 100 17 and 19 30 26 so on so this is how we create and once we write on whatever changes that occurs in data editor that is reflected in the main state interface and you see along with its command so this is about data creating data manually using data editor and that's it for this tutorial thank you very much for your time thank you econometrics melody thank you